This is my first vlog since Black Friday. It has been a minute. It has been a minute. So I'm going to second and Charles to return this because no matter what device I play this on, it does not work. But the thing is, is that I bought it brand new. It was still in the packaging, brand new, when I bought it. And it doesn't work. I, I don't, that's never happened to me before. I've never bought a new movie that has never been open that doesn't work. Like, I, I started this movie and then it just wouldn't work. So I went to bed last night and I tried again this morning and because it, it wouldn't play past this one part. And then it, it froze at that part again, but then it started playing. So I watched it through and then it started freezing up and I got these squares on the screen. And so I looked up on Hulu and thankfully the movie's on Hulu. So I was able to finish it there, but it just boggles my mind. Brand new disc, brand new disc. And it doesn't work. That is so crazy. Never been opened before. Hasn't seen the light of day since it, the factory was made in in Taiwan or whatever. It's it's crazy. However, I did watch two movies recently that I showed, no, multiple movies recently, actually, that I showed y'all in my last DVD uh, update, but also ones that I watched after. So I watched The Blair Witch Project. That, so that was one of them. All right, so I'll talk to you about that one a little bit first. So The Blair Witch Project, it's a very grounded movie. Like, it's not, not a lot happens in it. Like, it's mostly just the three characters yelling at each other about the fact that they're lost in the woods for an hour and a half. But, actually, not even that. Um, but it's very grounded. And because of that, it feels realistic. Now, that may not be a good thing, but it's also not a bad thing. Because, again, it... it the movie is less entertaining that way, but it also feels more realistic, which was a good thing for this movie because this movie was basically just a giant prank. You know, you know when they came out, people believed that it was real. It, it was just one big prank. And so I, I understand that, um, but it was all right. It was definitely one of the better found footage movies I've ever seen. I still would probably rather watch VHS over the Blair Witch Project, but that's just me. Another one I watched recently was Con Air. Oh, that was okay. It didn't have as much action in it as I wanted it to, and I wish the fight between Nicolas Cage and John Malkovich on top of the fire truck at the end was longer, but uh, I enjoyed it for what it was. I watched Misery. Now, that was really good. I really enjoyed Misery. The only thing about it that I would have changed is that at the end of the movie, when the two characters are fighting, I wish that somehow that fight had led outside with... James Conn trying to escape through like the woods or something and her trying to track him down I actually that would have been better if if they had Added extended the ending and put that on there. I would have really liked that better Blood Diamond was really good, too. There were a few I had a few complaints about it, but um overall I really liked that one um, I just wish I could keep my brand new copy of it. I also watched 1408 now, I had actually seen parts of that movie when I was a kid, and so re-watching it, or watching the whole thing last night, I suddenly remembered some stuff about it. I was like, oh yeah, I remember this. From, like this one time when I saw parts of it on TV, like over 10 years ago or something like that. Um, but it is a really, really good movie. I loved it. I thought it was fantastic. Like 10 out of 10, like I absolutely loved it. The, the only issue that I had with it though is that I hated the way that one scene was edited. The scene where like he's at like the book meeting and people are asking him questions. The editing in that scene is like so poor. Like I, I don't know what went wrong there, but that was really, really badly edited. And then the movie has three different endings. And the one on my disc, which by the way, I also got that brand new from Second and Charles, so thankfully that one works. Unlike another movie I know. Um, but uh, the one I got was the one where like, where he survives, right? Now the, my favorite ending is the one with Samuel L. Jackson. That's my favorite ending. And then there's the other ending that doesn't make any sense. That's really weird with like his coworker or whatever. Um, but yeah, it's where they couldn't figure out how to how to how to um, edit the or how to end the movie. And I wanted to review the movie on my channel, but there's there's I would really like to see the director's cut 
because I've seen the theatrical version. I would really like to see the uh, director's cut before I review it on my channel. That way I could talk about the two and compare them. So I'll talk about the movie on my channel one day, but I would really like to get my hands on a copy of the director's cut before I do that so I can compare the two. And I also watched a, uh, another DiCaprio movie, Blood Diamond has DiCaprio in it. I watched Body of Lies. That was directed by Ridley Scott, who's made some of the best movies ever. Um, but I gotta say, it was really forgettable. Really, really forgettable. It was, it was good, it was fine, I enjoyed it, but it was a really forgettable movie, uh, I, I gotta say. <laughs> I am going to at least try and buy one movie while I'm here to save myself like another car trip. But I'm running low on money, bro. I've been out of work for like all month. Cause I had COVID. <laughs> I had COVID for, for, so I was in lockdown for like most of the month, but um, so I'm running low on money. Um, thankfully I'm working next week though. And I worked one shift this week, uh, just cause I asked for it. I'm gonna see if I can get another one. We're here! Okay, so I just came out of the store. And I did get a new copy of Blood Diamond. Ah, oh, my phone! No! So I got another copy of Blood Diamond. Okay. Um, hopefully this one works. The disc is perfect. But then again, so is the other one. Um, here's the thing, though. I'm not going to re-watch the movie. I'm just going to sort of take a gamble that this one works. And pray that this one works. Uh -huh. So that the next time I watch it, whenever that may be, just pray that it works. I got the speakers off. Okay. Um, I also got Get Shorty, and it comes in this... Look at all this. And you get... It doesn't take much to make it in Hollywood. Yeah, look at the Kardashians. Just a background with the mob. I'll take your word for it. Then you open it up. There's a Cheeto crumb on here. That's weird. And it's like this. And there's something you can pull out of here. Oh, there's a little booklet in here. Let me see what's in the booklet. Oh, it's just a bunch of pictures and stuff about the film. Um, fun fact for you, Danny DeVito is in this movie, and Danny DeVito was actually, uh, originally going to be Sala in Raiders of the Lost Ark. But he couldn't do it, because he was doing something else at the time. And then the last thing I got was Apocalypse Now. Now, the main reason I picked this up is because my brother got me this movie calendar for Christmas, right? Y'all seen it in my background. And every month that has a new, a different movie poster on it. And I've never seen this movie, but it's one of the posters on the calendar. So I took that as a sign. I was like, okay, well, it's time for me to watch this movie. Another one on there that I haven't seen is Dirty Dancing. Don't really care much about watching that. And I can't even remember what the third one is. But I guess I'm going to end up watching Dirty Dancing before the year is out. <clears throat> Ah! Fun fact for you, Harrison Ford is in Apocalypse Now in one of his earliest roles. Bet you didn't know that. Unless you've seen the movie, then you do know that. In which case, never mind. I went the wrong way, now I gotta turn around. You know what's funny about this airport right here? I uh, saw somewhere. Here, let me flip the camera around. So, if you ever seen Die Hard 2, um, one of the plot holes with that movie is that none of the airplanes, they, they didn't just go to like neighboring airports. They didn't just go to airports that were, you know, that they could get to with the amount of fuel that they had left instead of just circling above the airport. And that airport back there is one of the ones that they very easily could have just gone to. Like they didn't have to land at Dooley's, uh, which is funny. Which is also funny because I have a friend named Dooley. <laughs> All right, well, that was it. Just a quick movie trip. That was it. That was all I had for you. I wasn't even originally going to vlog this. I was just going to, uh, I was just going to do a DVD update. But uh, I'm glad I vlogged it because it's, it's been a minute since we've done this.
It's been a whole 60 seconds. Anyways, though, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to Pirate Player Entertainment for more. Hit the like button. Leave movie review suggestions down in the comments down below. Follow me on Instagram at Pirate Player Entertainment for channel updates and much fun. I'm fed up with this world.